Alrighty, let's talk about vitamins um, and specifically the vitamins in our protocol. Uh, and let's really talk about calcium and how it works in the body. Uh, there was a lot of research uh, done primarily with postmenopausal women where they were uh, experiencing a thing called osteoporosis, where, where is the degradation of the bone and the bone density. And it was a lack of calcium in their bones. So obviously it made sense. A lot of studies and research went into this. And so uh, scientists started adding calcium uh, supplements to women with this condition in the hopes that it would improve their bone density. And it did in fact help. But there were some unintended consequences, and that is that calcium started depositing in other areas of their body. They started developing calcium deposits in their arteries, kidney stones, gallstones, etc., etc. So uh, they then went on to further research, and they recognized another very, very important uh, vitamin called K2. And here's how it basically works. This is how calcification, and this is a very simple explanation, but Vitamin D3 is critically important, and it is very important in our body's ability to absorb calcium out of our gut. Now, there are many, many studies that say millions and millions and millions of people around the world, millions of people in America are very, very deficient in vitamin D. Uh, and a part of it is lifestyle. We don't spend as much time outdoors. Uh, when we do, people are, are concerned about sun exposure, so they use very heavy sunscreens. But the bottom line is um, people are deficient in vitamin D. That, is, that's the, that helps manifest uh, uh, the body's ability to absorb calcium. Vitamin K2 is critical in the placement of that calcium within our body. And, and vitamin K2, in many studies and papers show this, the vitamin K2 is very, very powerful in taking that calcium and making sure that it goes into our bones and teeth so we get stronger, denser bones and teeth. But what I experienced is that not only did it make calcium go to my bones and my teeth, but it took those calcified deposits out of my arteries. Now, can I say that vitamin K2 uh, uh, dissolves calcium deposits? No, uh, according to FDA regulations, I'm not allowed to say that. But m what I experienced on my hypothesis is that by the supplementation of vitamin D3 and vitamin K2, it allowed and supported my body to move that calcium out of the coronary arteries and put it back into, its, into my bones and my teeth and that is why vitamin D3 and K2, in my opinion, are so critical in this protocol. I think it is profound that we want to take calcification out of the soft tissues and put it back into the bones and the teeth.